to retrace my steps, and probably some of you can relate to that. So the, the fact that I have so many memories of my dad that are so clear and so vivid into this day can still evoke so much emotion is nothing short of a miracle. But they were huge memories, huge memories that he, he um, impressed on my life and that are indelible um, to this day. Some, some right, some wrong, some good, some not so good. But I learned from every single one of the things that my dad showed me even the things that weren't so good. Um, they're indel indelibly marked on my mind and my heart and, um, and my life. They've marked my life in such a way that they've shaped me and molded me into the person that, that I am today. And spending time with my daddy, making these memories is what made me who I am today. I wouldn't be him, me without him. I want you to think for just a minute about your, your family of origin, your mom, your dad, your siblings, even your close friendships after that, you know, we were, we're all marked by the people in our life. And sometimes a memory becoming a good memory or a bad memory is simply in how, in what perspective you take and how you choose to see that and how you filter it. I was diagnosed with cancer about eight years ago and, and I remember at the time thinking, oh wow, that's some bad news. And I thought, you know what, news is only really bad or good depending on what you filter it through. And if God is good, and he only gives good gifts, then our way of looking at things as a gift or a good thing has to change to be in line with, with God's. Amen? Um, the greatest memories of my dad for me with daddy are just the simple everyday kind of things um, that happen in life. They are just a part of growing up with him. They were, um, for me and my siblings, quite special, especially the, the older siblings. Um, but whatever my dad did, I wanted to be a part of it. I think every, every kid probably looks up to their dad in some way, especially when they're younger. And everything he did, I just wanted to be a part of it because I thought everything he did was fascinating. And I wanted to help him. You know, don't kids always want to help? They want to help, and they're really getting in the way, but Daddy let us help him. He was always so willing to bring us along and, to, and was so patient with us and letting us help him. But I always thought it was the biggest thrill and the biggest adventure to help him do whatever he was doing. And as I said, it was all just very, very daily, um, ordinary life kind of things. But I would ask him, Daddy, can I help you do this? Daddy, can I help you do that? Can I help you mow the lawn? Can I help you at the store? Can I help you do this? But in essence, what I was asking my daddy for is what a lot of kids are asking for. In fact, I think every kid is asking for these two things. Daddy, please, can I just spend time with you? And Daddy, please, will you show me how you do what you do? Those two things are really what every kid wants. Daddy never sat me down and read me the Bible. I have no memory of that. I have no memory of my daddy ever praying with me. Um, he never told me that God was good all the time. I have a few memories of going to church. We were pretty much Christmas and Easter types. Um, but he taught me and showed me more about the love of Jesus than anyone except my husband, John. I asked for prayer today, and my big prayer was...